Hi, I'm Alan Moncaster and I, I live here in a small 1960s bungalow in Weymouth. Well, the house has many features, but probably the one that is the most visible for anybody is the amount of solar panels we have on the house. Um, we have uh, panels on both the east and the west roofs giving us around about nine kilowatts of potential generation. Um, and that is stored in batteries, we use it for car charging and just general house use. The, the feature that you really can't see in the house that runs 24-7, we have a whole house ventilation and heat recovery system running within the bungalow. Um, when we first moved here, we had major issues in the second bedroom with damp and mould. <clears throat> and as soon as we switched it on, all of those problems disappeared. The actual unit sits up in the loft space and all of the ducting, just this big spider's web across the house, um, giving us fresh air in and extracts air from the, the kitchen, the bathroom, and actually the conservatory during the summer. Yeah, this is the, um, the, the newer 5.2 kilowatt array um, and this feeds directly into the, the inverter with the batteries so in all we've got a potential of 9.2 kilowatts probably the maximum we see during the summer of seven seven and a half out of the two arrays very simply it's um, a 1500 litre plastic water tank which is surrounded in insulation that's it. Um, let's think more of Japanese hot tub rather than a bubbly hot tub. But it's a little piece of luxury which the solar provides. And we tend to use that from spring till autumn. I don't use it during the winter. Yeah, this is the solar diverter which will eventually um, heat our hot water and hopefully will provide us heat to um, an electric um, storage heater. So. That's work in progress. <laughs> when it's up and powered, we'll link with the Zappi car charger. So they'll work together. And here we've got the Zappi car charger. Uh, this is a smart car charger, which will dump all of our surplus just into our EV, which is over there. Um, works really well. Doesn't require any maintenance or any input from me, which I like. And at the moment we are generating three kilowatts off the roof and that's going to the grid. Here we have the um, inverter. This charges the batteries at a maximum of three kilowatts and also gives us three kilowatts out to the house. Yeah, that's the fresh air supply and really that's all you see of the system. It just runs on its own. The rainwater harvesting uh, collects water from the whole house. We've got collection barrels both sides of the house they come together behind me and run down to the bottom of the garden. Down the bottom of the garden we've got two large IBCs and there's a pump. And uh, on nice sunny days, which you, when you're watering your garden or cleaning your car, you're running that pump for free. So, good news. Oh, hang on, things have moved. And down the bottom of the garden we have the two IBCs. The large pipe at the top is the, uh, the flow from the house and all of the pipe work down below is the return for the pump. That's right, well hopefully uh, you can find the information you want. Um, certainly through the Dorset Greener Homes website, um, people like myself will be available to, happy to chat to you and talk about our experiences with it. Um, it's been, for this house, it's been a 12-year journey and it's still developing. Um, there are still places I would like to take this house to, but um, there's a lot more research that I need to do for my next development. So hopefully this chat has helped you. Um, do your research, do look at YouTube and Fully Charged, that's probably some of the best information you will find and uh, visit the shows, things like that. So enjoy your journey, I've enjoyed mine, and it's still proving to be interesting. So goodbye from me. Right, goodbye all. <laughs>